Hi, second graders. Welcome to the Digital Citizen Academy. Digi, our star digital citizen, will help us review what it means to be good digital citizens. Second graders have more responsibility when using the internet because they're using it for both fun and schoolwork. Most of you are starting to use technology to communicate with others, whether on social media, in a classroom, or on a school site. Digi is here to help you learn how and why it is important to stay safe when using technology. First, let's talk about what digital means. Digital describes electronic technology which creates, stores, and uses data. Using technology to access the internet, we're able to connect to the world and to people we may or may not ever meet in person. Social media and other apps allow us to communicate with other people. We all belong to communities, and it is important to be responsible, which means we need to use our good manners when using the Internet and social media. Let's recall what each letter of T-H-I-N-K means. T is for truthful. H is for helpful. I is for inspiring. N is for necessary. K is for kind. Second graders know that being truthful, helpful, inspiring, kind, and doing what is necessary are characteristics we need to be good citizens. Digi uses the internet almost every day, just like you do. He knows how difficult it can be to remember the rules to stay safe and be polite online. That is why he is helping us to learn to always T-H-I-N-K when we interact with others. Take a moment to talk about digital citizenship. Then, check out these new words, reputation and social media. Reputation is the way you're viewed by people and your community. It is the way people think of you. One example of reputation is that a person in your class may be known as a friendly and kind person, while another person may be known as a quiet person. These people have gained their reputations based on how they act and interact with others. What do your friends think about you? What do you want others to think about you? Digi would like others to think he is a kind and good person. Second grade is a time when we are starting to understand and use social media in a positive way. What is social media? Social media sites or apps are the places where you might socialize with other people. What does socialize mean? When you are socializing, you might be talking to or interacting with others. Turn to your friend and talk about what apps or sites you might use to socialize when you are online. Digi wants to help you remember that it is important to create a good digital reputation when using social media. Digi wants people to believe you are a good person who does the right thing. What are some of the things we can do online? We can search for anything we want to learn about. We can communicate with anyone, anywhere in the world. We can play games, draw, and write. We can even explore the world. There are a lot of different things we can do with technology. When we communicate with others online, whether we are using social media or playing an online game, we need to act just like we do in real life. Our reputation is just as important online as it is offline. Our digital reputation becomes our digital footprint. A digital footprint is there forever and follows us to all the sites we visit. It is a trail of everything we do online. Digi wants you to have a positive digital footprint and a positive digital reputation just like him. Digi knows that second graders want to be liked and to have lots of friends. He also remembers that it is hard to stand up to someone who is making poor choices but it is important to do the right thing so we don't get in trouble or hurt someone. 
always be positive in your posts so that your digital footprint reflects that you are a good digital citizen, just like Digi. Unfortunately, there are people who post things online that are untrue or perhaps trick others into believing things that are not true. It is important to be careful when using technology and remember to ask for help if you have any questions about information or what someone posts. People of all ages have been upset by something someone else posts online. Others have made the choice to do the wrong thing and post mean or discouraging things. When we are kids, sometimes it is hard not to go along with everyone else. But when others are doing the wrong thing, Digi wants you to choose to do the right thing. He's here to help you make good choices. The internet connects us to the world. Digi enjoys knowing that he can see things and even do things without ever leaving his room. But he also knows that there are rules when he is using technology. Digi and his parents have had some talks about those rules. They even have a contract that they all signed so that there is never a question about the rules or the consequences when the rules are broken. To make sure he follows the technology use rules at school, Digi and his parents had to sign a contract for school too. Did you sign a contract with your parents or your school? In the lessons to follow, Digi will help you understand what it means to be truthful, trustworthy, and to have empathy. He will show us that being helpful, inspiring, and encouraging makes us good digital citizens, and we will see how being kind, respectful, and cooperating with others leads to a positive digital reputation. Digi wants us to know that it is important to only post what is necessary online. Second graders have a responsibility to make good choices when using technology, and Digi is here to help. And now, a word from our founder, Lisa Stroman. Technology is always going to be a part of our lives, but we have to remember that with this privilege comes responsibility. Digital Citizen Academy was created to help you become a responsible digital citizen by empowering, educating, and inspiring you to become a leader in the technology space. We want you to be safe online, and we also want you to have a voice in what happens with your digital footprint. Thank you for being a good digital citizen, and welcome to the DCA team.